Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com. In this video here, I'm going to go over the Minotaurs as a farming location in Guild Wars 2. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know that I've made this video in the past. But due to the fact that I've gotten such a large amount of new subscribers and the fact that fine crafting materials went up in price since all of the bots were banned, I've decided to reiterate a lot of the old great farming locations, getting them out there so more people can hear about them, learn about them, and go to them. So enough of that, let's get started with the actual location. As aforementioned, this location slash video covers the Minotaurs which are located in the southern section of Frost Gorge Sound. They're located in around the middle area of Frost Gorge Sound and they can, the closest waypoint to reaching them is just north of the Aerodon waypoint which is the southernmost waypoint in Frost Gorge Sound. These uh, Minotaurs drop Vial of Potent Blood which is the main item we're going to be farming from them and also are extremely easy to get to, which, like I said, are just north of the Arudan Waypoint. But the drop rate for Vial of Potent Blood, depending on how much magic find you have, I run around with about 100% at all times, and I get about one uh, Vial of Potent Blood for every five Minotaurs killed. And the blood sells for about two silver each. So without even getting any of the, or without even factoring in any of the, like, hooves, trash items I get, or, uh, you know, blues, grays, greens, or any other, anything that you can sell at all, you make about two silver every five kills, which is actually pretty darn good. I'll get into how much you make an hour at the end of this video, but it's quite a bit of money. Um, so, to get started, some of the events that take place around this area, uh, you have the Grawl, which are just to the east of this location. They very commonly have an, uh, an event in the area where you can collect Norn artifacts. Turn them in, then you get like 300 karma, uh, <clears throat> some silver, and a bunch of experience. And then you also have the Caravan Escort, which spawns immediately after killing all of the, uh, or gathering the artifacts from the Grawl area. You have to escort this caravan to Yox Ben, which is just a little bit to the north. Extremely easy event to do, and uh, just as profitable as collecting the artifacts. And then there's two other events that take place to the west at Coiled Watch. One, you have to retake the town from the Sons of Savannah that attacked it and took it. And the other one is to protect the town after uh, your faction, or your server owns it rather. Uh, <clears throat> the Sons of Savannah will come and attack the town, and then you pretty much just defend the town from them. Both or actually all of these events are extremely, extremely easy to do. You won't have any difficulty at all soloing any of them, and uh, they're very profitable to do. So I highly recommend that whenever you see them happen, uh, you'll get a little notification pop up under your mini-map, and when you hit M, you'll see the big event circle. Uh, considering the fact that you know, you're in your 70s now, uh, you'll definitely know what you're looking for. So definitely keep an eye out for these events. They cycle through about maybe once every 10 minutes uh, per each event. So it's easy to f run into them, gather them, and also doing these events will help you avoid hitting your, uh, your diminishing returns timer. Due to the fact that, you know, you're killing a bunch of other mobs except for just minotaurs, you're definitely going to, uh, it's going to take a lot longer for you to hit your diminishing return timer if you even hit it at all. So... Aside from the Minotaurs and the Vial of Potent Blood that they drop, other good stuff that you can get from this area include uh, <clears throat> blue, green, and gray vendor trash, which of course drop from the Minotaurs. Uh, you want to vendor pretty much all of the greens, blues, and grays you get. Uh, none of them are really going to be worth that much money. Um, you can check the greens if you want. Maybe they have a good rune in it that you'll be able to salvage or something like that, but I really don't recommend doing that. It'll just be like a waste of time. Uh, same goes for the blues, and uh, pretty much you just want to offload all of that crap, just vendor it, and then you'll be able to move on and, you know, continue farming. So, aside from that, the only items you will want to salvage are the yellows and whites that you get. The yellows are the rare items, and in this area, all of the rare items you get are going to be above level 70. So, they have a chance uh, to salvage into globs of ectoplasm when you actually get them. Now... <clears throat> you want to use the highest possible uh, quality salvage kit you can, which is Master Salvage Kit, depending on what level you are. Uh, or you can get the Black Lion Salvage Kit, which uh, you get from completing the daily sometimes, or you can buy it from the gem store. 
uh, that has the highest chance of giving you globs of ectoplasm and is the main thing that I highly recommend you do use for uh, getting the globs of ectoplasm. Whereas uh, <clears throat> the white items that you get from this same exact area, you want to uh, use a low-end salvage kit on the white items. Uh, I recommend a basic or crude salvage kit, um, <clears throat> especially because uh, you know there are no rare components you can get from salvaging the white items. You might think that the Ori Chalcum uh, is a rare component from salvaging the white items, but it isn't. It's just a component, and you can get it just as commonly as uh, uh, you would using a master salvage kit if you use the crude or basic salvage kit on the item that you're attempting to salvage. Aside from that, there are a few different gatherables in this area. It's not uncommon to see uh, elder wood logs uh, growing in the area. Um, mithril ore <clears throat> is very common throughout the area. And snow truffles, which uh, are one of the cooking gatherables, is not uncommon at all to see in this area. Uh, you want to stop and gather each of them if you see them. The snow truffles are the most valuable items, uh, most valuable gatherable that is in the area. Um, of course, they're uncommon, so you'll definitely want to keep your eye out if you see them. Um, pretty easy to spot. You know, it's the little leaf thing on the map. map. You probably know what you're looking for by uh, this level. Um, and speaking of level, as it's pretty already obvious, you want to be at least level 75 plus before farming at this location. Uh, normally, you'll probably be level 80 when uh, you come farming here. Not many people stop at level 75 to farm. You know, at that point, they just want to get max level. So, uh, only a few more things left to be said. Uh, <clears throat> I recommend you use magic fine food when farming in these locations. Peach tarts are going to be the cheapest magic fine food you can use. They give you 26% magic fine and they cost less than one silver a piece on the auction house. You also can use Om Nom Berry Bars which will be the most expensive magic fine food. Uh, but they give you the 30% magic fine, the most magic fine. And you can also use Cup of Lotus Fries which give you 30% magic fine but are not as expensive as the Om Nom Berry Bars. Aside from that, there's really nothing else to be said about this uh, farming location. So if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe to me for future Guild Wars 2 videos. Oh yeah, and you should expect about 1 gold, 50 silver, to 2 gold an hour from this farming location. So, Almar out. Good luck and happy hunting, guys.